And while in town, the second lady visited a local company. It's called R Riveter, and it helps to support military spouses. CBS 17's Birchel Edme shows us how they do it one stitch at a time. Every stitch woven and button placed brings a paycheck home to a military family, and that's our Riveter's business model. Oh man, so the moving every three years is identity, it's, it's life changing. And what that meant for us was we knew at some point we were going to have to be part of the solution rather than part of the problem. In 2011, Cameron Cruz teamed up with Lisa Bradley to create this fashion company right in West End, North Carolina. We made seven handbags to make 21. Both of us just invested $2,100 into the company and just literally took it step by step. About 10 miles down the road in Southern Pines, they opened up a flagship store using old military uniforms and leather to create these handbags. Since then, the military wives have expanded our riveter. The businesswomen say for every dollar spent, at least 33 cents goes back into a military family, an accomplishment that's caught the eye of second lady Karen Pence. That was why Cameron and I started the company back in 2011 is because we couldn't find work as military spouses. And to know that we've grown a company that's now provided income to over 100 military families in just 2017 is an amazing feeling and we can only hope to just continue to grow the company. The White House estimates that the unemployment rate is twice as much for military spouses compared to other working adults. Stats like that keep the women motivated. Reporting in Moore County, I'm Beer Shaladme with CBS 17 News.